Afternoon guys, Dave Canberra at the Pathfinder School back with another video in our series on what I consider bulletproof firearms. In other words, firearms that have stood the test of time, firearms that will not let you down in an emergency situation. And again, we need to have the discussion of there's a difference between longevity and short-term survival or survivability versus sustainability. For survivability, I prefer something always that is single action, or break open, one shot. Less moving parts to worry about in an emergency situation if something breaks. Now, long-term sustainability, we've talked about this already, the right tool for the right job. So the next rifle that I wanna to talk to you about is the Ruger 1022. Proven over and over again, bulletproof mechanisms, works really, really well. I've never had this thing jam on me. Ruger now makes a 25 round magazine that's far and away better than the magazines of past that were made by different companies aftermarket for this rifle. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that 25 round mag for you here in just a little while. Comes factory with small mag. I recommend you get a couple extras of each and it will fire any 22 round you want to fire out of it other than 22 uh, magnum. Easy mechanism, cock and lock, ready to rock. Pull the trigger, you're ready to go. It's got a nice safety on it. Very easy to take this gun down. Very easy to clean, has a flip down sight on it in case you want to put a scope on the top. It's drilled for a scope mount. If you choose to go that route, myself, I just as soon have the iron sights. If I got to shoot something far enough away that I need a scope, I probably don't need to be shooting it anyway. At least not in a survival situation or self-reliance where I'm looking for food. You know, I like to get pretty close to my game anyway. This has got the standard stock on it that is you know, synthetic, it says Ruger, it's got the Ruger brand name on it. I have ordered a wooden walnut stock for this with a checkered grip on it and things because I like traditional looking stocks better. But this stock's pretty bomb proof, it's solid. There's, it's not hollow anywhere except probably right here in the handle a little bit and obviously where the receiver and, and barrel go into the stock itself. But all of this is all solid in one piece. So it's pretty bulletproof, you're not gonna break it. It's got points on it for a sling already, it comes that way from the factory. This is a pretty common man price gun. You can get one of these for well under 300 bucks. A lot of times you get them used for right around two, two and a quarter. Again, 22 caliber, very, very good hunting around. Will kill just about anything you need to kill in the short term or even in a longer term self-reliance situation. Unless you're out hunting big game, this is gonna kill anything you need to kill easy enough and the ammunition doesn't weigh much. It's readily available, uh, readily available and it's very cost effective. So with that said, Let's load this magazine up and pop a few rounds off so we can look at this new Ruger BX25 because these mags are fairly new to the market. Okay guys, well, I think you can see the target in the background back there. I figure we put uh, 20 rounds in here. We'll go 20 shots at 20 yards, rapid fire. If you can put those in the target at 20 yards with rapid fire, you're not gonna have a problem single shotting this thing to kill game. I want to see how well the magazine works as far as its capability not to jam, things like that when I rapid fire the weapon. I have never shot this magazine yet since I bought it a couple weeks ago at a gun show. Like I said, they're new. So let's get after it and see what comes out of it. Okay guys, second shot, I had, I had to feed it again. I don't know if it didn't chamber around or if that round was just a dud. All I did was jack it back and let it go and fired it again and it kept on rocking. Can't necessarily blame that on the magazine. It may have been the ammunition. These are not CCI stingers, these are CCI hollow points. Let's go take a look at the target. Okay guys, here we are. This is our target. Again, 20 rounds, 20 yards. Everything's in the black. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
at least eight of them that are within touching the line on the 10 ring or in the 10 ring. The rest of them are all inside the eight except for two and they're touching the line. Not too bad. Rapid fire 20 yards, open sights. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that without a doubt. I am interested to find out whether that one misfire I had was a feed jam, which I don't think it was because nothing came out of the gun when I jacked the bolt back again. I think it was just a bad round. But I'm interested to shoot 20, 30 more, 40 more rounds out of this thing and see what happens. But right now, you know, I'm perfectly satisfied with that grouping out of this gun. Like I said, Ruger's pretty bulletproof. They're hard to beat. And these new Ruger BX25 magazines, they're a little bit expensive. They're about 25 bucks a mag. Well worth it in my opinion. All the other aftermarket mags I've ever had jammed, unless you use certain ammunition in them. I got fairly cheap ammunition I'm shooting out of this, and it's working just fine. So we're in good shape. Okay, guys, well, I appreciate you joining me today for these couple quick videos. And uh, I appreciate everything you do for me, for my family, for my school. I appreciate all your views and all your comments. I'll be back with another video in this series and others as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.